Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 2000. Boland Hall Fire. Boland Hall was a freshman residence on the Seton Hall University campus in South Orange, New Jersey. It would soon be known for one of the deadliest college fires in recent U.S. history. It was on January 19, 2000, that a deadly fire erupted, leaving three students dead and many more injured, some with serious injuries. At the time of the fire, most of the students were fast asleep, unaware of what was happening down the hall. Many of those students who did hear the fire alarms go off, thought this was a false alarm and chose to ignore this, the residents had suffered with several false alarms in the past, and there was no reason to believe this was any different. It was thought that two students had started the fire as a drunken prank. Why they decided to start the fire is not really known, but it was presumed that alcohol played a vital part in what seemed like a good idea at the time. Authorities believed that the fire was started on the third floor common area, in the north wing of Boland Hall. The fire burned so hot that it melted the synthetic carpet, causing severe injury to those students who were trying to escape by crawling on the floor, trying to get down from the smoke. Most of these students were trying to get to the stairway for escape. Some students did manage to escape via the stairway, but some in desperation jumped to the ground, which was around 40 feet. The fire was quickly brought under control, but sadly Aaron Carroll and Frank Caltabilota died from their injuries, with John Junta dying due to the thick smoke. Around 58 students, were injured in the fire. Alvaro Lanos and Sean Simons were 18-year-old roommates at the time of the fire, and both thought this was another false alarm. They tried to escape but got disoriented and separated, and were heading towards the fire. Sean suffered first and second degree burns, with Alvaro receiving third degree burns. Both were extremely lucky to be alive. During the investigation into the fire, it was found that Boland Hall lacked sprinklers, which could have helped in the fire. It was found that Sean Ryan and Joseph Lapore were freshmen at the time and shared a room on the third floor. They had been drinking and decided to set fire to a paper banner which was draped on the couch. The couch quickly ignited. The fire quickly spread. It was on June 12, 2003, that Sean Ryan and Joseph Lapore were charged with starting the fire and felony murder. Both admitted to starting the fire, and they pleaded guilty to arson. What seemed like a harmless prank, led to three students dying, and many more injured. They were both sentenced to five years in a youth correctional facility. Sean Ryan would eventually be released on parole. Ten years after the deadly fire, Boland Hall residence is a very different place. Fire sprinklers are installed, along with flame-resistant couches. New fire alarm boxes are located at the end of the halls, with a detailed evacuation map next to the elevator. The Boland Hall fire changed the life in dorms all around the nation. New improved fire precautions now exist, to prevent a tragedy like Boland Hall from ever happening again. Those three students who died that day were honored with bachelor's degrees at a graduation ceremony. Forever remembering those poor students who died that day. May you always be remembered. Thank you for watching and learning about these tragic events throughout history. Please subscribe to my channel to view other events throughout the decades.